Well, you may be thinking about booking your summer vacation sometime soon, but before you do, there are some things you need to know that could help you save a lot of money. Travel expert Joel Conable here with us this morning, sharing a few tips with us that can save us a lot of money and travel website. Anything you need to know if you're out there booking a vacation, you've got the deals. Good yes. morning to you. Good morning. It's summer travel. That's going to be the big thing. Summer travel is a huge thing right now. We're in spring right now, of course, mm -hmm. focusing on summer. This is the time where a lot of people book, right? This is a lot of time where people go online. You say what day of the week is the best to buy? Best day to buy is Tuesday around 3 p.m. And the reason I say Tuesday around 3 p.m. is because the airlines normally announce their weekly sales on Monday. So it takes about 24 hours for all the other websites to get their deals. So about Tuesday at 3, they have discovered and I have discovered that that's when you'll see the best prices. So you want to start looking about that. And it does work because I've done it before and you can save yourself a good 150 bucks mm -hmm. on at least an airline ticket if you do book at 3 p.m. on Tuesdays. It works. Yeah, 3 p.m. on. Those are, anytime after that's when that's when you'll start seeing the greatest deal. So you can wait till you come And when do those deals stuff. usually close? Um, well, I mean, in the old days, it used to be, remember, you had to book two weeks in advance. Yeah. These days on airlines like even Delta, JetBlue, You can Frontier, buy the Tuesday before the you weekend buy, you go? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. You want to definitely sign up for their exclusive deals. They'll send you an email. They'll say, hey, we have a deal coming up this week. You have to book in the next 48 hours. So that's something. The other thing that you touched on is also when do you book, not only on Tuesday, but don't book more than three and a half months before your trip. You would think that I'm going to Europe next year. Let's book a year in advance, mm -hmm. which you can. But if you book a year in advance, you might get a very good price but the airlines don't announce their sales until about three months before. Okay, so you're not waiting necessarily until the last minute right. to book that European vacation because I may get a little nervous. Yeah, it sounds kind of close, doesn't it? it three months before. Close, but yeah. three months doesn't sound too bad. I'm more of like, hey, a month in advance, I can start booking for that For example, trip. Air France just announced at the beginning of April for July trips to Paris. And they have a sale now. So people did buy tickets in November and, and December. They probably got a nice fare, but people buying them now are saving about 350 bucks. All right. Another thing that, that I've, I've sort of done, my experience is, is I'll, I'll go onto a lot of different websites mm -hmm. where they search multiple websites, right? And then when it comes time to book, I go back to the original airliner, right. the airline, the and I buy website. the ticket through there. The only reason through my experience is that if you at least buy it through Delta, you can change your flight right. a lot easier through them. You're going to pay a cancellation fee, but yeah. if you buy through other websites, sometimes you can't even change your flight at all. Brandon, you're exactly right. He's a smart traveler, and that's because... The airlines, you go to someone like kayak.com, it's yep. one of my favorite websites. It aggregates all the different search results. You see lots of search engines, but it ends up sending you back to one of them to book it, either Delta or cheapseats.com or whatever. So the thing is, you might as well start the airline's website first. They're going to match, if not beat, any other price. And all the prices are within a couple of bucks anyway. Exactly. So you had it right on uh, the exact thing to do, the right thing to do. If you go to Delta, you've booked it with them. So any changes, any problems, Delta's happy to deal with And that. you know what? I've even experienced that with uh, rental cars as well. Like if you, instead of going through other websites, if you end up finding a great deal, you can go back to, to Thrifty or whatever it yep. is and say, you know, listen, I found this deal on this website. And as long as you book it through them, they're a lot more accommodating to you. Otherwise, they're like, hey, you booked it through somebody else. There's exactly. nothing we can do about exactly. it. Exactly. We talked about last time I was here, there was a problem with that. Someone booked a ticket to go to Italy and they did it through a website that was not associated with the airline. Then there was a problem mm -hmm. and the airline couldn't honor the ticket for them. So they had to buy new tickets. So yeah. very important, very good advice. All right. Some of the travel websites you recommend then are what? Well, um, definitely kayak.com and also yapta.com. Yapta.com is very important when you're booking for summer travel because remember, if you book, let's say, more than three and a half months in advance, which I don't think people will do now mm -hmm. because they've heard it from us, but the thing is that Yapta will notify you if the price drops after you've booked it. And we've talked about this before. Yapta then will notify you. You can call most airlines. They'll refund the difference. And How do you know which airlines trip. will refund the difference? Is Yapta it on their tells website? It. It's Yapta on Yapta. Yapta. Tells you. Okay. Go to Yapta, sign up for free. You give them their email address, and they will tell you which airline lines will refund it. Most of them do. American does it. I think Delta does it. JetBlue does it. A few foreign airlines may not, but most U.S. carriers will honor that. But you have to tell them. You can't expect them to call you up and say, hey, the price dropped. Got it. Very good. All right, let's talk about pet-friendly hotels. A lot of people, when they go on vacation, they got to bring the family dog. You brought hey, your family pet here with hey, you. Hey, Lola. 
Look at that. Lola, <laughs> you're, awake, you're, on, you're TV. on TV. you got to be awake You're on that. TV now. Do yes. you bring Lola with you on vacation? <laughs> I do. I bring Lola a lot of places because we do a lot of stories about pet-friendly travel. And also, I've had juvenile diabetes since I was a little kid, and Lola's trained as a service dog to tell me when my blood sugar is too low. Wow, so incredible. when I travel by myself, I don't want to be asleep when my blood sugar drops. But the hotel I'm staying here in Atlanta and the hotel I'm staying when I go over to California is going to be the Lowe's. Lowe's Hotel, the Lowe's Hotel brand. There's a brand new one right here in Midtown. Yeah, there's Atlanta. one right here in Midtown. Great Absolutely hotel. beautiful. And what they do is something very interesting. They actually, I think, cater to the pets in many more ways than they do the humans. Because more hotels are realizing that if I don't entice somebody to stay at my hotel through their pet, they're going to find another hotel to stay at. So the Lowe's, when I checked in, I mean, just some of the stuff they brought over here, they had a little mat with a bowl with food and treats. It said Lowe's loves pets. There's more stuff they gave me. They gave me the little bed Lola's sitting on. They had wow. uh, toys for her. And they see, had dog parks that they told me where I could take her. As a consumer, everyone loves their dog. Mm -hmm. They're members of the family. And cats can go too, and cats. And, mm -hmm. and you have something like this that kind of greets the pet. I don't know about you, but it's smart to me because the next time somebody goes to travel and book for a hotel, you're, that's a decision maker. That's yeah. a deal maker uh, right This there. is a great weekend trip. If you're thinking about, I mean, a lot of people may not want to leave Atlanta over the summer, but might want to take their wife, their family, uh, their, their husband to go to some romantic little mm -hmm. vacation. Why not spend the weekend like at the Lowe's wow. in Atlanta, get a great room, bring your dog or don't bring the dog, whatever, but they're just a really great pet friendly hotel. And I, I'll tell you, I don't stay at hotels unless they're friendly to the pets. And they don't charge a huge fee either. It's $25 one time. That's the cleaning fee for your entire state. All right, very good. About a minute left. Trips around the South. Trips around the South. One of my favorite websites is called Gate1, the number one, dot com. Gate1.com is a travel website that has all sorts of driving trips for the summer. So if you don't want to fly, they have trips where you can drive out of Atlanta, get your rental car, all your hotels are booked. They price it by families. So you could have a family of four. You can drive to Charleston. You can go up to Savannah. You could uh, go further south. You could drive through New Orleans. Really kind of see the South historically uh, go up to North Carolina and, and Wild West Vacations. Deals. Wild West Vacations. This one's really fun. I just found this by accident. I'm thinking I want to do a trip to this. I've never really been to the Grand Canyon, Yosemite, mm, Grand Tetons, the Red Sedona Rocks of Arizona. So you can go to this website here and live like a cowboy and they have prices once again that are 